Sports, a place where many athletes find success. It's likely the final play that matters. End zone, wide open. What a night for Mike Williams. But where there's a winner, there has to be a loser. He came a long way. You hear me? Come here, I love you, bro. You hear me? It's one thing to watch the game, but another to analyze it. Let's talk about the numbers. You ready? You too. <laughs> What's going on, man? Back at again with another video. It's your boy, Novice Fan J, and I'm so freaking proud of my boys. We beat the Chiefs, then we come back home Monday night under the lights in a stadium where it's mostly Raiders fans trying to take over our stadium. We quiet the crowd 21 0 at halftime. Finished the game 28-17. I couldn't be more happy for my boys. But before I speak on any more football today, please drop a like. Drop a comment. What did you think about that game? Uh, comment on any game that you feel like was very exciting to watch. We, we got to see a lot of great games in week four. Going into week five, we got a lot to talk about. But please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Share this, share this video. <laughs> With your family and your friends let's keep running that subscriber number up we're trying to get to 200 help your boy out let's get into it so going into week five your boy numbers fan j is six for six well actually i'm gonna say i am six and six i don't know why i said six for six i wish i was like mj you know <laughs> but anyway six correct picks six incorrect picks on camera on camera, uh, not really counting the games that I've picked off the camera. If you do, if you are interested in other games, I always leave my picks in the description for you guys. Just in case you know, maybe you want to put some money on a game. Maybe you just want to know who I think is going to win your team's game if your team isn't playing under the lights. Uh, you know, just, just putting that out there. Now, I will say I went 3-0 and in week four in my picks on camera, my picks under the lights. Uh, th that's the Thursday night game, the Sunday night game, and the Monday night game. Picked those games for you last week in week four. Got all of them right. We picked the Bengals, the Bucks, and the Chargers, and we got all of those right. So just, just you know, just, just toot my horn a little bit there. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm on a roll, if you will. <laughs> but anyway. Going into week five, starting off, of course, with the Thursday night game. The three and one Rams are traveling to the Seattle Seahawks, who are also, well, who traveling to the Seahawks, who are two and two. They're coming off a big win against San Francisco. Uh, we saw Russell Wilson turn into Russell Wilson again. And they just pulled out a very, very good win against a good division opponent. Uh, that division is probably the toughest division in the NFL. I just want to say that. Uh, the Rams won six of the last eight in this matchup against the Seahawks, including a 30-20 wild card win in Seattle in 2020. Now, I do have to say this. The Rams have allowed nearly 1,000 yards and 61 points in the last two weeks alone. Just saying. And they're also going to be traveling. So they got blown They got blown out by the Cardinals last week. Was it like 37 to 20? At home in Los Angeles. And now they have to travel to Seattle, which is maybe the toughest place to play in the NFL. I got to pick the Seahawks at home, Russell Wilson, with that home crowd advantage. The 12th man is going to be hyped. And this win could take the Rams from being, you know, 3-0 and at the top of the division to being 3-2 and and at the bottom of the, division, of the division if the 49ers can also win their game. I mean, what is that really going to say about the Rams from going 
sitting on top of the NFL to going coming down like that, beating the the Buccaneers, uh, being the talk of the town, losing to the Cardinals, and then going to Seattle and maybe losing that game if they lose, that's going to be a big discussion to have. But, you know, before I get to the Sunday night game, I also have to give you my Chargers pick because these are my boys. It's relevant enough, right? So let's get into it. Browns at Chargers. Both teams are three and one. The Chargers won 10 of the last 13 in this matchup. Their three losses came in Cleveland. The Browns haven't won at the Chargers. No, the Chargers have been in San Diego and in LA in these matchups. But at the Chargers, when the Browns are the road team, they have not won since 1991. This is going to be the 29th rushing defense in the Chargers versus the number one rushing offense in the Cleveland Browns. So this should be a good game. I will say this. <laughs> if the Chargers can stop the run early and get the Browns behind, the Browns are 26th in passing. And we've seen Baker Mayfield miss connections with Odell and you know, he's not the greatest of quarterbacks. So if the Chargers can get this guy, get the game to be on Baker Mayfield's shoulders, gonna have to roll with my boys again. Because I really think that if we can make these guys pass the ball early in the game, we have the advantage from there. I mean, the Chargers are number five versus the pass coming into this game. We've played... Dak Prescott. We've played Patrick Mahomes. We just played the number one passing offense in the league last week and whooped on them. So if we can get this man, Baker Mayfield, to pass the ball, I really, really, really like our chances in this game. Going with my boys to win. <laughs> uh, also, going into Sunday night, Buffalo Bills 3-1 at the Kansas City Chiefs, who are 2-2. Two two. So, Buffalo, the Bills going into that Arrowhead Stadium. We know it's going to be rocking on Sunday night. We already know. The Chiefs won five of the last six in this matchup. But the Chiefs are on a two-game losing streak. Remember this. We all remember this, right? The Ravens got them. Then the Chargers got them. We're seeing this defense play like trash, right? Add that on to the Bills defense being first in points per game so far. Through four weeks, they're allowing 11 points per game. They are number one versus the pass and number four versus the run. This is the rematch for the 2020 AFC Championship. I think the Bills are clicking at the very, the perfect time. They could not play the Chiefs at a better time. It doesn't matter that they're in Kansas City. I think that the Bills will win this game on the road. Huge, huge win. And this will keep the Chiefs at the bottom of the AFC West. Man, oh man, to start two and three after making the last two Super Bowls. We're going to be asking what's going on with Kansas City. I'm telling you. Going with the Bills on the road there. Monday night, Monday night game. The one and three Colts are traveling to Baltimore to play the three and one Ravens. Lamar is seven and zero in October. The only quarterback since 1970 with five or more starts and zero losses. I don't have to give you any more information. The Ravens are gonna win this game at home under the lights. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Of course, share this video with your family, your friends. What do you think about my picks for week five? Do you agree with them? Which ones do you not agree with? Uh, do you think that I, I mentioned the right information here? Do you think that I was leaving something out that actually changes your pick to the other side? What do you think? Let me know. It's your boy, Jay. Me and my boys out of here. <laughs>